Hello everyone, welcome to my first tutorial on REEE floating point number formats. First for what is a floating point number? So a floating point number is very similar to scientific notation. So for example, a number say uh, G71.84 is a rational number and it has an integer port, it has a fractional port. And we can also write this number uh, with radius 10 and represent in this way is 2.7184 multiplied by 10 to the second so we only keep one digit in front of this radius point and similarly we can do uh, the same thing to a binary number there so for example if we have a binary number that's 1001.0101 and we can uh, move this uh, this point, so by the way, uh, this point that separates the integer part and the fractional part is not called a decimal point anymore because we have a different base, which is 2 right now, so it's called radius point. And we can move this radius point to the left by three positions, uh, just right after this one. And then to compensate this change, we need to multiply the uh, the number after this radius point shift by this 2 to the third. So uh, move the radius point to the left by one position is equivalent to divide this whole thing by 2. So we move it uh, by three positions. So it's equivalent to divide it, the original number by 2 to the third. So we have to multiply by 2 to the third to compensate the change. And a floating point number in a computer is very similar to uh, some kind of format like this. So we have to store, we have to find some space to store uh, this part and also need to find some space to store the exponential part there. And now let's look at how in a computer, uh, how can we use a 32-bit uh, memory trunk to store a floating point number. So I create a program which is called fp2.c is fp.c So uh, this C program is going to print out the content inside a memory trunk and it takes a memory, it takes a number from command line as input and output is a uh, memory representation. Let's just try it out. So FP, I can type in whatever, whatever floating point number, and then uh, it prints out the 32-bit content inside the memory. So I already format it a little bit so you can see uh, a floating point number is actually separated by three parts there. And the first part, there's one bit, Second part is 8-bit here, and the rest, 30, uh, 23 bits are the third part here. Now let's uh, look at the program and go through it line by line, see what it does there. First of all, I uh, need to include this uh, standard io.h header because I want to use the printf function. And I include this standard lib function because I want to use the huf uh, function in this library. And then uh, there's this main function. So it takes two arguments uh, from the shell and pass in by the operating system. The first one is oxy. It counts how many arguments are there. So we need at least two. One is the command itself. The second one is the number that we're passing. And the uh, second argument gives us a pointer to the arguments that we're passing. Uh, from the shell. So declare the variables and i mass and pointer and a, and a full type uh, variable x which is gonna hold the number and we do a little bit error tracking. If there's less than two arguments pass in from the shell then uh, we return minus one to indicate that this is not uh, a normal input and the program terminates. And then uh, we call this a2f function on the first argument that passing. 
which is the number, the rational number that I pass in, and this is gonna be a string. And then this a to f function will will convert the string into a full type uh, variable and then store in x there. And this pointer is gonna store the address of s by this ampersand uh, operator. And I'm going to cast this uh, address into an unsigned integer type. Uh, it's a pointer points to an unsigned integer type because I want to perform shift and logical operation on it later. And if it, the compiler is saying this is a pointer points to a flow type, it will not let me to do that. So just to cast it, uh, tell the compiler that I want to use this as an integer and just do it, don't do any tracking, see if it's a flow. And I have a mask here. So this is mass is one shift to the left by 31 bit. So mass is an unsigned integer type with 32 bit. And if we set it to one, there's gonna be a one here and perform a left shift operation by 31 bit, then this uh, one bit will goes to here and fill this space by zeros. So uh, only this bit is zero, is one, all the other bits are zero at this point. And then call this uh, for loop. This for loop uh, is gonna run 32 times. So it's gonna point out all the 32 bits on the screen. And this two line is just some formatting because I know the first field that has one bit and the second field has eight bit. So when uh, at the index here, I print out extra space and index nine, uh, digit here, I put now extra space, just, just separate this field nicely. And then now it's the pointer f function. So first of all, we dereference pointer, which points to x as an integer, and then end this mask. So remember only the first bit, the leftmost bit here is one. So uh, this ampersand uh, operator is a big wise and logical operation. It will just basically keep whatever bit it is at the first uh, most significant bit here and just keep make everything else to be zero and then shift left right by 31 bit because i is zero at this case. So basically uh, what it does is point out uh, what the bit is at this position there. And then after this is done, we shift the mask by one. So this bit, now this bit is on and all the rest on the right are zeros. And this most significant bit of the right on the left is also zero. And then uh, go back to the for loop again, uh, check, still perform the same check on formatting. And then, uh, now uh, the 31 minus i is interesting because uh, its its value is 1 right now uh, and we're gonna move this bit, uh, we perform this n operation so just keep this bit in its original value while setting all the other bits to be 0 and then we need to shift the right amount to uh, the, the right here so we and then set everything else to 0 and the shift amount should be 31 minus 1 in this case and we can imagine as uh, the bit go, goes to the right and then the shifting amount will be one less than its previous uh, loop operation there so 31 minus i is actually gives us the correct amount of shifting and finally just point out this new like character and let's see the program run again FP and 1.3 and it prints out the memory uh, content for this uh, basically it's how a computer to represent 1.3 in memory okay so uh, this concludes the my first tutorial on REEE 14 point number and next time I'm going to explain in detail uh, what the three field means uh, Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.